It's Eric here at Peace Street Classic Cars, and I've got a really cool little uh, 51 Chevrolet. Still warming up a little bit. Kind of a cool little shop truck. With the, uh, Carburetor might need to be dialed in a little bit. Drives nice and straight. Very minimal play in the steering wheel. Just had the brake cylinders redone. Noticing that it's pulling just a hair to the right, and I think the truck just needs to be driven a little bit, and they probably need to be readjusted. That's not uncommon. Yeah, I wish I'd have put some grease on that brake pedal, a squeaky brake pedal. Honestly, this is a truck that. If you've got a V8 automatic sitting around the shop or you know somebody who does, you can pick those things up so cheap. Man, I'd throw a V8 automatic in this thing. It, it runs good. It's, you can just, that license plate's rattling. Actually, part of the noise there. It's got a decent running 216. I'm gonna shut it off because it's a little bit noisy. Decent run in 216. Carburetor didn't seem like it wanted to completely open up. But I'd still probably personally, I'm guess I'm used to old trucks. I'd probably still try to drive this thing around town today. So I'm kind of doing some new arrival stuff. I don't normally do this. Typically, a big part of our business plan is that we find trucks like this, we bring them in, and then we we really make them you know we go around and do little stuff for example this one is missing a hubcap and you know normally i'd get on ebay and i'd wait you know five seven days to get the hubcap in the mail and put it on and then i don't have to take pictures of a vehicle without a hubcap because i can't stand that it bothers me and it's you know a 50 dollar part but it bothers me so anyways or just getting that carburetor dialed in just right or taking it for enough drives to dial in the front brakes just right just those little things that quite frankly, are usually the difference between us listing a truck like this for, you know, a couple thousand dollars more. So a few dollars in parts, uh, a couple hours in the shop. But the flip side is right now I'm overflowing at the shop and I need garage space. So I said, let me uh, get the camera out and let's get out here and just get some pictures of these trucks. Kind of call them a new arrival. This thing's got an awesome patina on it. Uh, it's got a New Mexico plate on it. I don't know necessarily that it's from New Mexico, but it looks like it's been on there for years. Um, and tires are older. They've got good tread on them, but they also have uh, you know cracks on the sides. At least a couple of the tires do. The body on it's really cool. Pretty straight. Got a great patina. This is a big part of the value of this truck is that I would say the body and even the interior and the bed are basically what I would call done. And uh, either dialing in the engine a little bit more and you'd have a regular driver just the way it is which would just take very minimal work or taking this truck in the shop putting a small block v8 and automatic in it and just throw it in drive and call it a day the nice thing is is you know you've got the shifter here you can turn that shifter into a automatic shifter if you want or put a low car on there but the insides look good it's got an older seat cover you can tell where i was sitting there a little smashed i think if you really wanted to you could Pull the hog rings out and restuff the seat and then to put the hog rings back on and be just fine i don't think it really needs a new cover it's got a new er headliner in it dome light not working glass is in good shape overall there's new window felts on here this one is rolling up and down easy um i don't think it's new glass maybe some of the glass is new a lot of the well i know the felts are the felts are new on the other side and it's really tight that grass over there is clap uh cracked and I was having a hard time rolling it up and down just because it just hasn't sat in the sun long enough to give 
to give to have any give on the glass. So let's see if I can try it. So I'm kind of pushing pretty hard to roll the window up on that one. Don't want to mess up anything inside, but it does have a crack there. So that's what I wanted to show. So got some new strikers. A couple spots of rust on the truck that are fairly significant there. This is kind of giving it that rat rod style look. In fact, somebody decided to you know, take a flywheel and a wrench and weld those on. And <clears throat> I thought that's actually kind of a cool idea. You know, leave it alone. Let the patina be what it is. And uh, on this side as well. Which is a fairly typical rust out spot. Body's a little rougher here. Looks like a piece of plywood in the bed with some strips on it. Actually very presentable. Tailgate looks cool. Got a couple of holes. And then underneath the truck is actually pretty solid for what it is. The cab corners look pretty good. The original drip hole there. Something. Maybe an old piece of glass in that drip hole. So actually the bottoms of the doors in that cab corner are in good shape. So for the, for the rust that's on it, there's a little bit of rust there in the cab corner. But these floor pans are original and they look awesome. As well as these step sides. These are original steel step sides. And they are in fantastic shape. I mean, these floor pans are super solid. Frame rail solid. I don't see any rust on the frame. make a great little farm truck another thing too is trucks like this have gotten really popular with photographers you know to buy something it's a great investment to, because people want to come out to your farm and you put a couple hay bales here we've had a lot of photographers you know they're spending the money to rent the truck for the day and I've actually been selling trucks to people looks like it's got a new fuel line there I mean look at these floor pans they're in crazy good condition even that original battery box so for the for the look of the of the uh, and then even this cab corner that's the original cab corner and it's not been repaired. So for the look of the um, of the fender like this, which is like I said, you know, places where the rut, where the dirt comes and clods up and causes it to rust out. Even though that looks, you know, as bad as it does if, in a sense, if you want to call it that, the undercarriage, the cab, everything is so solid does have new weather stripping around the window here. All the, the drip rails are in excellent condition. I mean, the truck is really in, you know, body-wise, aside from those fender pieces, in really good shape. And I think the value in a truck like this is, like I said, a uh, little bit of time in the shop, dial the carburetor in, make one more adjustment to the brakes, um, and just drive it, enjoy it, find a hubcap. You know, a couple hundred bucks, spent in a couple hours in the shop which is what's fun about it and just drive it just like it is the lights work um, it doesn't have turn signals they didn't have them back in the day it didn't get added um, it doesn't have wipers that's not uncommon that's about 165 dollars from lmc truck to do the wiper kit but um, drive it like that or do a do a inexpensive engine swap most of the guys around here that i know that we do them and we just keep an eye on Craigslist and when a you know used engine and transmission pops up, we grab, scoop them up and they're not too expensive and it's a fun project you can get done in a weekend. So anyways, give us a call, peachstreetclassiccars.com. This is a 51 Chevy to the new arrival, Acme Garage truck, great patina and uh, really just a few little things away from being a little daily driver for your farm or around town or for your shop truck.